What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hammerstein and today is my review here with the Obo Find Entry Flip. So this phone I should been using as my daily driver for the past two weeks and I do want to share with you my thoughts and my opinions on this. And normally when it comes to any review of this phone, I like to break it down into four main segments over here just to give you guys a comprehensive view, overview of this phone that has performed for me for the last two weeks. So yes, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so before I go any further, I just want to highlight that this phone is a flip phone. So we have to look at this phone in its original form, its full purpose of this. Because if I just talk about it as a ordinary phone, I can say that the display, the speakers are really good, which it actually is. The design and the build materials are also really good. The only thing that's disappointing about this is the battery life on this and the fact that the processor may not be able to withstand the heavy dutiness of this phone. So a lot of times this phone tends to heat up quite a fair bit amount and with that, you know, they have to cut out the hotspot that I actually do use with this phone and also in this phone when it comes to battery as well does tend to drain quite a lot again it could be the fact that this phone is actually running two things at the same time or it may be due to the process over here the media tech chip not being able to take on the heavy duty stuff of this phone but other than that this phone is a really solid phone but again, we have to look at it for the main purpose of this, and that is the flip phone. So yes, without further ado, let's just go to the four main segments. All right, so we're gonna talk about the build and design on this phone. So yes, in the unfolded side of things, it works really, really nice. You have your glass on the front and also on the back here as well, which works really nice. It does give you a premium feel overall. But if we talk about the clamshell design over here, I like the size on this. I can have my full hand, even my small tiny hands over here, gripping this on all angles over here, really easy and comfortable, especially when I'm hitting the gym, I got so many stuff to carry. This is really fun to like just hold it with one hand, security, and I don't have to worry about it. When it comes to the button placement in this unfoldable form, it's actually quite hard to reach because it's located on the top but they have to do it because if you're using it in the flip form over here, it's super, super convenient. I do like that the fact that the side fingerprint scanner over here is very, very easy to reach with my thumb when I'm using my right hand over here. And when it comes to the volume rockers over here, it's very nice and clickish. And if you're using it in certain angles or certain kind of rotations, the software settings over here is really nice and polished. So it's able to give you your volume up and down depending on how you're using. And even if you're rotating it in a different way, if the software is able to recognize that and still be able to adjust their volume rockers over here to give you the up and down accordingly, which is again, is really cool and very polished on this. If we want to talk about just how the form factor feels, it really feels really good. Even the Hassel Black camera over here, they didn't overdo it in terms of the camera size. So it does give you a good ratio of your screen to body here, which I really do appreciate. Of course, with that being said, the only main concern I do have with this phone is of course the hinge mechanism that we have inside. But with the display that we have on site, which does provide a lot of functions, which we will talk about in a little bit, I do actually have some reassurance that this phone would be able to last for a good maybe two to three years. So with that being said, I would say when it comes to the holding experience on this, I will give it a solid, solid 7.5 out of 10. Next up over here, let us talk about the viewing experience. So like I mentioned before, in the unfoldable side of things, when you talk about the large display over here, it works really nice. You have your large 6.8 inch display, 120 hertz, all that goodness in terms of brightness, in terms of colors but we have to talk about the clamshell display that we have at the front. So it does come with a very good ratio over here. It still gives you a more of a 16 by nine. So if you're using the apps that they provided over here, it still works really nice. It doesn't feel like it's a widget. It really feels like you're using it like a normal display, but a smaller display. And again, like I mentioned before, the ratio of the screen to the body is still very, very decent. The touch response on this as well is really nice. And you are still able to see a lot of stuff like I watch a lot of YouTube on this, I watch a lot of Netflix, I go through TikTok, my emails on the small clamshell display over here which works really nice. Even that 3.5 inch display is still very very usable and very very 
fun to play around with so like over here we have some of the apps that they have provided for us and it's really cool because the smoothness on this as well is really really cool as you would expect and what I like about this is that you can still play around with certain things yes I do wish that they could add a lot more apps to this which make it which would make it a fun experience stuff like your Facebook your Instagram a little bit more things over here which I think would be really fun and I wouldn't need to open up my display to open up all those apps so when it comes to the display over here really nice the speakers as well we're gonna get your stereo speakers so if you put it in this smaller form factor it works even much louder which I really do enjoy if you talk about the haptics on this as well it works very nice and premium indeed so with all that being said the viewing experience on this I will give it a solid solid 7.5 out of 10 all right, so now let's talk about the user experience of this phone. So this will cover the hardware, this will cover the software side of things. And what I can say is that first of all, yes, like I mentioned before, when you're using it in the unflip side of things, it's really, really nice. You have your Oppo stuff. So if you guys have been using a lot of your Oppo phones, you will feel really nice at home over here. But again, with the flip phone, we have to talk about the flip side of things. And what I like about this is that it's really nice and thought out by Oppo when it came to this phone. So like I mentioned before, there are certain apps that comes with this phone. And just say if you're using stuff like your Waze or if you're using like WhatsApp and you just want to use the bigger display and you just flip it open, it just goes directly to that app you've been using. Of course, it doesn't have a lot of uh, legs, a lot of starters with it, which I really do like. There are some bugs that comes with this as well, but it isn't too much and it doesn't take away from the experience. Of course, there are certain things that I really did wish that you could implement on this, certain things like your picture in picture, which would be really hard and that would take a toll on the battery as well. But we have the single apps here that works really nice. Waves on this has been really fun. Netflix watching this has been really fun. All my viewing stuff on this has been really cool. Again, like I mentioned before, the only thing of a downside of this is of course the battery. I did wish that they could have given us a bigger battery over here. The 4300 isn't the best. Maybe they can bump it up to maybe a 45 or 46, but we're still given a super Vogue charger at the end of the day to pump that baby up. So yeah, it isn't too bad. But again, we do get some heating with this phone. Again, maybe it could be due to the fact that the MediaTek isn't able to withstand the heavy dutiness of this phone. But overall, the user experience on this has been really, really great and super fun to play with. So with that being said, I will give it a solid 8 out of 10. So last but not least, let us talk about the camera experience of this phone. So this will cover basically the cameras. So what I can say about this, if we just talk about numbers, we have the 32 megapixel selfie shooter. We have also the 50 megapixel rear camera. All really good specs, all really good numbers. But let's just talk about the versatility phone when it comes to the flip form. So you are able to take very good selfies of this. You don't have to be the boring person that just takes your normal shots using the selfie camera over here. You can just flip it on, use the rear cameras to take all your flip phones. And it's very easy to reach for your buttons over here so you don't have to worry about it. Again, really, really fun. And you're gonna get definitely sharper images, better images with your rear cameras. So again, the camera experience on this is really cool. When you're using it like as a phone stand as well, you can just flip it into the 90 degree form. And the camera app as well is able to recognize that and also adjust the ratio when it comes to the camera app as well so that you're able to see what's on top and what's on the bottom here to click on your button. Again, something they have done with the software which is really fun as well. And even if you go back to the clam display, if you want to look at the camera app as well, it works exactly how you would as in the normal camera app in the unflip form. So yes, I really like the camera experience on this. Really fun. Don't expect your super flagship level photos when you're taking shots with this. But I want to talk about the fun factor and the versatility when it comes to this phone. So overall, the camera experience on this, I will give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. All right, so that is it with my final review here with the Oppo Find Entry Flip. So as you can tell, I was just super excited to have used this phone for the past two weeks. Would I recommend it to you guys? Yes, if you guys are looking for a flip phone, I think this is a very, very good flip phone. The only downside on this, I would say, is the battery. So do stand by your power banks or whatsoever with this phone. But other than that, I would say that the experience of this would be what you expect from a modern 2023 
flip phone. So overall, I really like the functions on this. Again, in the super near future, hopefully we get some new updates or maybe in the future iterations, we're gonna get a little bit more updates in terms of the app uh, compatibility over here when it comes to the clamp display. But overall, for what it is today, I would say it's really, really good. If you guys are looking for a good phone experience, I wouldn't really recommend it for you guys. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions. Leave yours in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, do click the like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my socials on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and so here on YouTube at Dr. Amstang. And I'll see you guys in the next one.